Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Or should I say good evening? I don't know. Um, anyway, we've chosen a really good theme for today's programme. We're going to go for the theme of space exploration and the humans' uh, activities in space. I'm not an expert on this issue at all, so we've actually secured a remote connection to the International Space Station. Yeah. So, can you hear me, John?
guest here today to talk about something I have dedicated my life to. The future of space exploration is now in your hands. The next generation will take us further into the unknown than ever before. With testing well underway on the new NASA Space Launch System, returning to the moon is planned for the not so distant future. Beyond that, the sky is no longer the limit. We blast off here with a few memorable moments from past space exploration, safe in the knowledge that space travel will continue towards Mars and beyond the stars. Thank you. 
fight in between you who wants to sleep first? Go on, Martin, you're keen. There we go. That, uh, that takes me back to watching the Voltover competition um, about a month ago. Um, and I watched it over the internet, like many people did. And um, watching the Yorkshire Imperial Band do their performance with the lights off during the entire set, which makes really great TV. <laughs> Um, excellent stuff. Um, obviously, I, I ignore all that bit going on. Um, but the the space commentary sounds like talking to Alex over the mobile phone when he's on his hands free. I thought that's where really you got the idea from. Um, right, musically, uh, Space Odyssey. Um, great stars, accurate playing, great balance. That's all I can say about that. Really, really top draw stuff. Uh, JFK, again, great play, lovely solo comic play. I've got some talent. Um, good control and smooth balance sounds, very, very good. Really like that one. Uh, Mars, great use of dynamics, you were all there. The balance was spot on. Um, let's see all the unison um, quavers, semi quavers, perfectly in tune. Again, where you get the problems with the issues with big flat, e flat instruments, they were all there, perfectly in tune, great. Um, just a little bit of one last note. Ah, no. Really good stuff. Um, first light, Cornet Solist. Uh, just minor blipping intonation at the start of the band sound. Just a little. Um, um, and then just the Solist did really, really well. Where are you? Give it a, a round of applause. <laughs> Slight show of nerves, but keeps smiling. Smiling releases all kinds of emotions and energy. Uh, you did really, really well. Um, Kirsty Ellett's a good friend of mine. Um, beautiful piece of music. Listen to her play. Copy that and you won't go far wrong. And you are doing that. That was a really, really good solo. You should be proud of yourself. Well done. Um, perfect accompaniment to it. Um, lovely duet part going in there. Starburst. Great opening sequence. Um, we just didn't quite play together at B in the in the little jazz bit. It got out between the cornets and youth. Just rocked a little bit. Um, uh, with the dynamics then a little bit on the cornets which in a G. Just tended to overpower the melody line a little bit. Um, but then we got a little bit of tuning coming. The intonation and tuning as they got tired, mate. That they were just they just start to wobble on, on tuning. Middle of band start to go out and tune a little bit. But wonderful program, great theme, really enjoyed the band sound, the play, the direction. Well done. Okay. Let's continue the musical theme here. You've seen that all the lights obviously were off and we were uh, using FUDs to make our notes. Um, I feel quite good about this because basically a lot of what Martin said on my piece of paper. Um, the start, well, it sets the scene, doesn't it? And the semis were fantastic because it's the sort of thing that when you judge your music, you're going to sit and watch to see whether those semis are together. Bang on. And it just sets a great scene for everything that's going on in the background, which we'll come to in a minute. Um, JFK, another Alan Fernie piece of music. We've already said it today, but it works. It's a great, it's a great arranger for brass band. And I particularly put down here, well done on the high notes in the corner because there's some really meaty stuff there. And it's not easy for any band, let alone a young band, to do that. The band sound that let us see I thought was excellent. Um, the soprano just after D, it's a favourite instrument of mine. I watch all the time, I grew up on it. Not an easy thing to play, it was superb. Even better. Even better. And the ending, dynamics, we're always on about dynamics on the panels. Pianissimo, perfect. It takes some doing, takes some controlling with the youth band. Mars, um, yeah, well controlled opening, great triplets, good dynamic control, uh, well read, very, very well done in the triplet and, um, and crotchet section because everybody was together. Um, and again, last note, the intonation, just, just weird and slightly, but it's there. Um, ben Hollins first line, this is, is lovely, written for Kirsty Abbott, as Martin says. Um, Ben's the resident composer at Calvin Main for the Colliery Band, Kirsty's the principal cornet. Um, she would have been absolutely proud of the soloist on this. I know she would. 
And um, what a lovely sound. And yet, the, the perhaps is, well, there's bound to be nerves. The young people, young people get nerves. But I'll tell you what, you've got a big career ahead of you, lady. Just keep at it. Um, and everybody in your band should be proud of your performance today. That last note was something else. It takes some doing. Um, and Starburst, what a start. Magical, I've written down there. Sets the scene again. Someone's steadiness in the 70s at B. Um, too loud at G in the corners. Again, we've both picked the same thing up there. And um, when you get to before letter I, and it's upstairs, you're telling me now the soft on a corner, but let the soft do the work because it's, it's the toughest section in the piece. Intonation was not good upstairs there, but they were running out of steam, the hands. Uh, but letter L to the end, absolutely excellent recovery and a great finish to the programme. Loved every bit of the music. I can't say anything about that other than whoever's put that together. Thank you very much. You've just you know, you've made a fantastic spectacle for the audience and again, it, it's a totally different take on Brass Factor and it, it's a very difficult competition to judge because of the way everybody does everything, but I wouldn't want it any other way. I hear I'm Graham. Four words. Shivers up the spine. Yeah. You almost made me break into tears at one point. And you're so nervous, where is she? Where's that young lassie? Is she floating around somewhere? She's incredible. Absolutely remarkable. I, I, one of the performers with such confidence. And one of the other factors that crept out in your pieces that hasn't crept out in the others is that you had two duets. You had two drums having to sort of try and keep in time with one another. And I'm sort of thinking, well, I've no idea how you're doing that. And then a young man joined your soloist, and that was a duet, and that's the first time we've seen that this evening. So thank you very much for a, a very entertaining evening. Uh, it's um, infectious, isn't it? Know, yeah. uh, but she was at the spine. That's my first, my feeling of what you just did. So thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Just before I do talk to Danny, now is the opportunity for you guys to vote. If you can be getting your voter slips out, um, marking the band one, two, three, four, or five. Just a reminder, we had the Stockport Skulls uh, Youth Band, Dog Cross Youth, Kersley Youth, Enderby Youth, and we finished with Red Admiral Academy Band. Is, it, is anybody from Red Admiral here by any chance? Uh, so, Danny, fantastic performance. Uh, were you pleased with what they produced? Well, it's, um, it's really funny, actually, that the word she was up the spine has come out. I think that's something that we're aiming for. But the band has periodically been breaking down in tears all week about how proud we've been, you know, of, of the young man. I mean, the youngest player was eight, and lots of our players were quite young. So, yes, very, very pleased with the comments. Thank you for being constructive. We can get better from that. And, you know, thank you very much. Now, I do want to ask you, because they do sound a little bit gullible, but did you genuinely have somebody up in space for this recording? I mean, that's people have people have doubted me all week. Actually, um, we actually did have a link to the International Space Station. It's real. So, would you like to ask him some questions? Um. All right. I mean, yeah. What's the obvious one? Uh, all right. Uh, what's it called, John? John Lovell. Uh, What's weather like up there, Chuck? Well, the weather up here is clear black skies and sunlight as far as the eye can see. It certainly looks like the weather here is more pleasant than it is down there at home for Earth. <laughs> I mean, Brass Factor's gone international, so... What do you think of Brass Factor? Thank you very much, Sally, from Red Admiral Academy Band. Thank you.